Hey everybody, we're Rob and Maureen, the Stromads, and this is It's Time for the Vine. So uh, kick it off, Maureen. Tell us what we're going to talk about today. Well, we are going to talk about Elvis, Avion, and Entourage. What do they have in common? Where do we want to go? What are we going to drink? And uh, what do we want to watch? So today we're sitting in uh, Yankee Town Beach at uh, Yankee Town, Florida on the Gulf Coast. It's about uh, two hours north of Tampa. It's also known as the Nature Coast. It's right uh, off of the uh, beautiful Withlacoochee River, which is just uh, over on this side, and it dumps right here into the Gulf, which is right behind us. We come out here a couple times a week and see some of the most beautiful sunsets you'll ever see on the Gulf side. Yankee Town's kind of an interesting little place. Uh, population's only about 500. Their claim to fame is back in 1961. Elvis filmed his uh, ninth film here called Follow That Dream. And uh, right down the road, about a quarter of a mile from us, is called the Bird Bridge. And that's where a lot of it was filmed, uh, right there. And uh, so a lot of the old timers here know about um, Elvis and were around and were uh, uh, extras in the movie set and everything. So it was a great um, deal. It's a uh, sleepy little town here um, that's uh, really uh, cute sitting on the river and um, it's a, still a commercial and a sport fishing um, destination today and there's great fresh shrimp. We'll get the shrimp, pop the heads off, throw them in the steamer and uh, they're incredible. So uh, now we're going to talk about what are we drinking tonight? Well today's selection is Tequila Avion and it is an Añejo single barrel um, original a small batch from, uh, I guess, uh, Jesus Maria, Mexico. So, isn't this great? This beautiful packaging. Uh, I'm such a nerd when it comes to uh, boxes and fancy boxes. So, um, this one is probably going to be a keeper. I'm going to have to figure out what to put in it um, and stash it away. So, it comes out and uh, it's all wrapped in paper and uh, feels like a Christmas present, doesn't it? So, where's that front? Uh, Avion Tequila. It is uh, made from 100% agave grown fields in the highlands of Jalisco, uh, Mexico. It's aged two years in um, what? In, in uh, oak, oak barrels. barrels. Oak barrels. And so it's going to give it that pretty uh, amber color and um, a nice vanilla flavor. It is super good and reasonably priced. It's about $45 in your liquor store and you can find it anywhere. You don't have to go all the way to Mexico. You can get it anywhere. And um, the funny thing about this tequila, well, I'm gonna let Rob tell it. It's got a really super funny story. And uh, I'm gonna pour us a drink and Rob's gonna tell us about the story. So maybe for some of you, uh Old schoolers. Um, back in the day on HBO, there was a hit show called... Uh, old schoolers. <laughs> well, you know, if you're like, whatever. Um, you might not remember it, but there was a hit comedy drama on HBO called Entourage. And uh, portrays an up-and-coming actor and his best friends, and they do everything together. They're all trying to fit in this new world of glitz and glamour in the L.A. Um, scene and everything. So uh, that's kind of what it was. I, not my favorite uh, show, um, just because uh, back then I couldn't appreciate just a whatever, casual uh, comedy or something. So anyway, um, this show's going on and the owner, um, founder of uh, Tequila Avion, happened to know the producer of the show. So they were sitting around the hot tub one night, producers talking about the show and how it's gonna end and things like that and some of the stuff that he wants to do. And uh, this guy, he, he got an idea because they had this new tequila brand, relatively new. And he's like, why don't you feature the tequila in the show? The guy's like, yeah, cool, whatever. Well, yeah, we'll do that. So um, they feature the tequila and this guy is so juiced. He's like, wow. This is going to make our tequila skyrocket. And uh, so he's expecting to go from like 20,000 followers to 250,000 followers the first night it debuts. Well, guess what? 
that didn't happen. <laughs> and are trying to figure out why. You know, we're we're on HBO. We're in the right crowd. You know, the the twenty to thirty somethings. It's the right show for them. They're the the tequila consumers um, for this um, cost level. And uh, so they figured out that people thought that tequila, since it was a relatively unknown brand, that tequila Avion was just made for TV. They just made it up for the show. So uh, they're trying to figure out what to do, and they heard about this kid that bought a bottle, took it to a party, held it up, and everybody's like, yeah, tequila Avion, how did you get that? Oh my God. <laughs> He's like, dude, I got it at the liquor store, man. This is real tequila. They're like, what? So oh, no it way. took off. No well, way. this got back to the owner, and he's like, they, they had this whole marketing campaign that they had done, saying like tequila avion, it, it's caramel, it's smooth, it's buttery, it's it's you know the best añejo that's ever been built. It's aged two times as long as normal añejos and all that stuff. Um, but they decided to scrap that. They started an advertising campaign called Tequila Avion. It's real. And boom, they were gone. It took off. And four years later, uh, in between there, they were able to hook up with a uh, major distributor. Four years later, that major distributor paid them $100 million oh to acquire the company. And they still let them run it. So what wow. a cool story. That I think that is fantastic. Could you imagine a hundred million dollars? Wow. What is that even like? So um what do you think about the tequila itself? I like it. If you look, if you do a little swirl in it, it's got nice legs, which means there's no caramel added. That color comes out of the barrel. That's from Thick. the aging to the barrel. And it adds some um vanilla. A nice um, vanilla buttery finish like you almost might find in a in a Chardonnay but it's got a nice peppery um, back end so it's a uh, it's a great sipper so you know what I love about tequila the most what <laughs> and I always know whether it's a good tequila uh, or not at least the way I judge it it's whether my mouth actually goes numb and this tequila it did it went pop everything numbed up real nice and uh, then it just gives that nice uh, glow afterwards. So I know that's probably not the uh, proper way to describe tequila, but it is the way that I describe it. Um, it's nice, it's a uh, nice sipper. I think it would be better on a cooler night. It's about 80 degrees out here, believe it or not. And um, so anyway, uh, we are gonna have a little cheers here. And then we got one more thing to talk to you about. 